but you will have to also go through this process guys only for one one time i'm showing all this and you will have to do it yourself next time and and then you can only start working on it but when the server the server is actually shipped and it should arrive on tuesday as per what uh the the tracking information i had so now we now i think we'll have enough data so let me go and see the overview of it one more time hmm. the table is not editable because there is no primary key but that's okay i can make the primary key and there is no data in this table I think I have inserted in ODS region, so we have some data there. And ODS material, I have some data here. So we are fine, at least for now we can survive with this. So I'm I'm going to use my ODS as my source. So now we need one more schema. So that schema is I always will keep this as default, set as default. And now I have to create one more schema because that's going to be our target. So create schema, it's a very simple statement uh, that, we'll, uh, that we'll use to create, but this is a more automated way. So here, what we are going to say is EDW, just as enterprise data warehouse. When you say apply, you get the schema created. And uh, you see it here. So, to, to connect to this schema, I will have to define an ODBC connection. Now I will have to make you understand what an ODBC is. For now, we can actually forget these two schemas. We don't require these two schemas. Uh, I have put it as EDW stage and EDW target, EDW DS. Yeah, we are we require all these guys. We are we are in good shape. This is the repository. Uh, a repository data store which I will have to take it away from here because I don't need that uh, that uh, to sit here and then we'll be worried what the repo DS is so I will delete this one so now we are in proper shape I have an ODS I have a staging database I have a target database so for the target database even I should see some kind of a files whatever I used so far So if I go into scripts, I should also find these ones. So these are the tables which are being provided. I don't think they will have data. We are supposed to load data. So it won't take too long for us to create these tables because there is no data in it, which, which makes our life easier and simpler. But there are also more than one ways. We can use the template concept in uh, uh, in data services and we can also create tables but just for the time being I'm going to run the script so that we will see this customer dimension or couple of tables getting created so for that what I will do is I will say EDW as set default schema so that I can run these uh, without uh, changing any of the parameters so the material dim is created Um, customer dimension is getting created now and uh, sales org dimension we can create all these tables because it's not going to take too long and you'll have to learn all these guys you you want to play with database then you should have the easiest techniques to create table edit table edit is again a DML operation which is data manipulation language and uh, inserting data is a TCL transaction control language so you will have to also understand all the terminology because that's what they use uh, when they when you go to a DBA you will have to talk in, in the same terminology they look for that shows you that, that shows them that you are not a basic user that you would have used database for a long time that gives a good impression for them 
So now I have the target tables. So in the stage environment, we still will use some temporary tables wherever is required. But as I told you, whatever is suggested in, in, the, in the demonstration or the tutorial that is being provided with data services, we are trying to do it in the same way. So I go here and then I will have to, as I told you, I, I have already created the data store, but let me also show you which makes it simpler for you. I'm going to delete this. Uh, there seem to be some table under it and so it is not accepting. So if I delete the table, it should accept. When I delete the table earlier job before I have built, uh, it's going to uh, get into an uh, error mode. Now you will see the validation problem also I will show you. So we will use the EDW uh, TGT which is target DS and ODS DS which are the two data stores which are required for us. Now if you see I have deleted a table and a data store. You see the into mark here and when you do validation it will say this particular uh, table does not exist in the database. So this particular job is now corrupted. You cannot use this job anywhere. It cannot run and if you try to move it to an ATL file even it is not worth it. So there will be always a question. If I create the same data store and import the same table, will it work? Yes, it will work. But for now, we don't need this. So anyhow, today we'll be doing it from scratch, whatever is being suggested in the same way by data services. So I'm going to remove that particular uh, workflow, which is uh, df demo heroes history so the other important thing guys if you look at it i if i remove the data flow from here it doesn't mean that it will be deleted from the job you see if i right click and say delete you have deleted only from this particular job but you will still have it under your data flows that is what is important see you see this under data flows so if you right click on, on data flows and say delete, only then it is gone forever. Once you delete from there, it is lost. You don't have any, any backup or no chance to get it back. So we'll make it a real data warehouse now and we'll build in the same way exactly being, being defined uh, in the tutorial. So while we do that, as I told you, we'll have to create two data stores. One data store is already existing and the other data store I have created it but not configured it. So I'm going to configure it now. You see I have created this, this data store saying database as Oracle and I, I cannot change this. So I'm going to drop this and I create a new data store, brand new data store now. So in here if you right click and say new you should be able to create a data store and give a data store name. So I will say edw underscore ds and we'll have to give a database type which is uh, for us is database and data store type is database and database type is I'll have to put it as MySQL. The moment you put there it will ask you for the version. Uh, whether you give 4.1 or 5.1 it should be fine because we have both the versions created here. So in the data survey, in the data source name, this is what is important. This is what I wanted to show you. And so I'm creating or re recreating this particular uh, repository or uh, sorry, data store again. So I have created a new uh, schema called as EDW. So I don't have that schema here. I have to go and uh, make a data source name to point to that schema. Let me do that right away. And you have two things called user DSN and system DSN. System DSN is always at the server level, so it is always good if you create a system DSN instead of just an user DSN. Because if you create an user DSN, what will happen is the server may have more than one users, right? So it won't be accessible for all the users. So we always create a system DSN to uh, make it easier and simpler. So now I'm creating a data source name. I will say it as EDW 
FTGT, which is the target. Uh, what is the server? Server here is a local host, but by default it will take the same because it is one machine. I have everything sitting here. So it is asking for the user. I think the user is, I named it as clouds and the password I have it and database is optional it says if I wanted to give a particular database I can give so here I am pointing it to EDW particular if I click on test the success connection was made so I have to close this and use this particular one which I created and say okay so you get the you come back here you see it. this is the one which we wanted to uh, use as our target so I say apply it worked so now I have the source and target so let me go and see what are all the tables I have in source so I make use of the same tables to build my my uh, job so when I double click what it is doing is it will get the list of all the tables okay this particular ODS let me see what has happened to it okay this is also pointing to Oracle so we are going to delete this because my original plan was to have it with Oracle and um, uh, maintain the heterogeneous environment but I will I will do that in a later, a later point of the session for now we will use the same way as been mentioned in uh, our tutorial so that it is easy for you to follow So this is database and I will use MySQL version is this and I already have a data source name created for, for the stage environment so I am using the same. So when I say apply if there is no error then we are in good shape. So if I double click it has to get the metadata that is in ODS. So if it is trying to get more metadata, I have a way to restrict it. So it is trying to get the entire metadata if you see here. So this is the total data services, uh, I mean the MySQL uh, database has all this. So I am going to edit here. I, I will point it exactly to what we want so that we not have any confusion. I can say configure and here if you see I have it only pointing to ODS. So I wonder why it is trying to get everything, but that's okay, uh, unless we know what we are trying to do. Because the user I am using may be having permissions on all the tables, so it is getting everything. But that is not my problem. I can always get the table by its individual name, which we are going to do now. So we have ODS customer. Let us see if we have data, I am going to use the ODS customer. So how to get this particular table into your data services environment if you right click and say import by name and here you will say ODS underscore customer and click on OK you should see the table here see the ODS under customer came here if you want to look at the data from data services yes you can always look at it see, if I click on view data it will show me the data now but as I told you, we are on a very local mission in which it is very hard to get things working. So I will not mess it up. Uh, I will leave it as it is. But in general, if you right click and say view data, it should be able to show you the data. But here it is not coming up. The reason could be memory or, or um, because I have Camtasia running on the mission and it is going to take a lot of my hardware resources. So, that could be one of the reasons but that is fine so now I have ODS customer so what would be the customer table uh, that uh, uh, that I can use for my target let me go into the tutorial and I will do as 